YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with another NFL tier maker video. This one is for the NFL safeties. Yesterday we did corners, and we actually have a playlist full of these NFL tier maker videos. Should be popping up in the top right of your screen right now. You can check it out. Bunch of videos on there. But we got the safeties for the upcoming season, in my opinion. Elite through below average. My favorite position group to watch. Just defensive backs, corners, safeties. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, but right before we get started, 40K, that's our subscriber goal by the end of this year. We much appreciate if you can help us out. We have daily sports videos, NFL, NBA. Can't wait for the NFL season because we cover it fully every week with daily videos. There's our Twitter in the top right. Also a link in the description of every video. Click on the like button. Much appreciated as well. Let's get on to it. Let's get to it here. So we're starting with Earl Thomas and... For Earl, I got him borderline elite. We know he's capable of being elite, just can't really seem to stay healthy. But when he is on the field and healthy, he still shows that he's a top-tier safety. Uh, I just can't really put him in the elite for this upcoming season. Can he stay healthy? Um, it's going to be fun to watch him in that Ravens defense. Very well coached, very complete defense. So, I mean, I'm not ruling out he, he can play elite. It's just I need to see him stay healthy and play at that level he was. Where he, when he was elite, to put him there. Jabril Peppers is next, now on the New York Giants. I'll put him under average. Um, yeah, I mean, he can continue to get better. Uh, one of those guys that was kind of raw coming out of Michigan, you know, it does, doesn't didn't really have a true position almost. Is he a safety? Is he a linebacker? What is he? So it's going to take some time for him uh, to get, you know, to get bumped up from this average spot here, which is very possible in the near future, but that's where I got him for now. Uh, Tyron Matthew, I just have good. He's going to be in the top part of that good section. Uh, I think he's a little overrated, to be honest, but I still think he's a good safety slash nickel corner. Had some time at corner, too, so not really a true safety, but can play safety. Uh, I mean, he's good. That That's where I view him. He hasn't really done anything to that blows my mind, you know, that, that makes me jump out of my seat to put him better than that, but it's pretty close to very good, good. You know, right around there. Uh, Eric Berry used to be elite. That was some time ago, though. Um, Got to stay healthy. Doesn't really seem to have have it anymore, really. But still an average safety. Uh, Jamal Adams next, another one. He was number one on my board in his draft class. Uh, not too many people had a safety number, really ever has a safety number one on their board. So I'm a big Jamal Adams fan, just straight out of LSU even. Um, and he's grown to one of the better safeties in football you know he doesn't he's not a big time playmaker safety uh, you know he's almost in terms of statistics he's kind of you know on the quiet side but that it's not always about the stats you know he he really does every part of the game that you ask you know a lot of these safeties are just strictly you know they're free straight free safety strong safety maybe they cover the deep ball uh, you know, maybe they're able to come up and run support. Maybe they can line up in the box. You know, Jamal Adams is one of the guys, guys that, that can do it all. Um, you know, I still think he has room to grow. I'm going to put him under borderline elite. Don't think he's elite yet. I think he's on his way. The Eddie Jackson. Uh, we got two Bears safeties in a row here. Oh, Adrian Amos now on the Packers. Uh, but two from last year on the Bears. Eddie Jackson had an elite season. Um, another guy I was kind of high on coming out of Alabama. Uh, the Bears stole him. Um, so can he have another elite season? I think he can. I, I want to see it again. If he has another season like that, then he's without a doubt elite. You know, he's without a doubt. I'm going to put him borderline elite. I want to see another season like that, but that was a spectacular season. Um, so we'll see if he can do it again. And Adrian Amos, uh, two years ago, played pretty well. Last year, he was solid. You know, maybe just overshadowed by guys like Eddie Jackson and other DBs like Kyle Fuller. Uh, I'm going to put him under good. Uh, not super flashy, doesn't stand out a lot, but I mean, I think he's a good safety. Uh, Von Bell, I, I like under average. Clayton Gathers, you know, it seems like the Colts are trying to replace him. They're bringing in all kinds of different safeties. They tried to get, uh, you know, better at that position too. Um, he's played a little better than maybe expected, but I'm going to put him under below average. The other Colts safety, Malik Hooker, uh, I think he has a bunch of upsides. Got to stay healthy. Uh, I think he's very capable of being a very good to better safety. But for right now, I'm going to keep him under good. Uh, we got Devin McCourty, who has been, for most of his career, been one of the better DBs in football. Maybe starting to decline a little bit. Um, but clutch 
down the stretch, especially in the playoffs. I like him under very good. Uh, ha ha, Clinton Dix. It's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, has been a playmaker here and there throughout his career. I, I'm not a fan of his tackling. His angle tackling puts puts himself in some, you know, tricky situations, um, tough situations to make a tackle. I'm kind of like in between average to good. Just looking at the guys I have on good, he's not on their level. So I'm going to put them put him average. He's probably top tier for average. Uh, Anthony Harris had a really good season last year. A uh, very efficient tackler, and I think he had the lower lowest passer rating allowed from a safety, which was pretty impressive. First year starting, um, so he could he could actually get really good, especially learning with Harrison Smith. Um, yeah, based off last year, I'd probably say he had a very good season at least. But it's the first year we kind of seen it. Um, I mean, like I said, he can grow, but I'm gonna put him on good for now. But he had a ridiculous season last year. And that's Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde has been very solid for the Bills. Uh, even on the Packers, he was a pretty solid playmaker. I think plays he's playing much better on the Bills than he did there. So he seems like he's getting, well, maybe like two, maybe last year. That's probably his peak, but he's gotten better over the years by a good amount. Um, but still, very. I'm going to put on a very good. He's a very good safety. Uh, DJ Swearinger, not a fan of him. You know, People were so shocked when he got cut. Uh, another one of those guys, I, I, I dislike his tackling, his angles uh, very much. Um, hard hitter, pretty solid, I guess, when the ball's in the air. Um, I'm, I'm going to put him under average. I'm not a huge fan of his game. Uh, Kevin Byard, I like Kevin Byard a lot. Um, it's hard to throw, man, it's hard to throw anybody under elite. It's tough. It, it's tough. I'm right there with the elite, the borderline elite. He's a playmaker. Uh, I thought two years ago he was a little more impressive tackling than he was last year. But he's a surprise guy, too. He's like a, supposed to be a mid-round guy. You know, he's really improving and actually can improve more. You know what? I'm going to put – I was thinking borderline. I'm going to put him elite. Kevin Byard, to me, elite safety for the upcoming season. Uh, pretty impressive in all aspects of the game. Jesse Bates, that's my guy. Uh, I was so high on him in last year's draft. So – and the Bengals went and got him, and he was he was impressive. Really carried that secondary – um, playmaker, run stopper. This guy, this guy's, I think will will be an elite safety. Um, it's hard. It's you can't put him at elite yet. I almost want to put him at borderline elite, but maybe I'm getting a little too hyped. I think he's a very good safety already. Uh, he's gonna be here soon. I like Jesse Bates a lot. Love his game. Landon Collins. Not a huge fan of Landon Collins' game. I mean, he's a good safety. I think he's a little overrated. Another guy that I'm not a fan of is. Uh, he can tackle if, you know, it's in the middle of the field. You know, reminds me of a linebacker. Like, he can he can come up, make the hits. And I love that he's not afraid to come up. But anything towards the sideline, another one that takes terrible angles, puts him, takes himself out of plays. Solid in the pass game, but nothing ridiculous. You know, I'm going to put him under good. I'm still a good safety. I just was never a huge fan of his game. Uh, Minka Fitzpatrick, another one that's uh, on the rise. Um, you know, doesn't really play a true safety. He plays in the slot a lot. Uh, good playmaker. I mean, he'll be he'll probably be in the very good going in the next year. I'll say good for now. Uh, to Sean Gibson, changing teams there from the Jags to the Texans. I like him under good. Uh, Marcus Williams, another guy I was high on out of Utah. Um, he's got a ton of upside. He just needs to stay more consistent. I uh, put him under average, but he's on his way up. Uh, Eric Weddle. And something I noticed just a little bit ago while talking is there's two Eric Weddles. Um, so that's interesting. I don't know if they did it on accident or if they did kind of what I was just thinking here. Bearded Eric Weddle um, probably be good and then just, I mean, he still has a beard, but that would probably be uh, average. Uh, no, but all seriousness, um, he's kind of declined to me. Uh, I'm putting him under average. Yeah, I mean, he's really declined. I mean, he used to be an elite safety. Uh, that that's That's where I got him. Kenny Vaccaro, pretty pretty darn good season last year. We'll see if he can continue to do that. I'm going to put him under good. I need to see a little more. Eric Reed. That's a tough one. I'm going to I'm going to put him under average. He was pretty impressive at times last year. I need to see a little more from him. Uh LaMarcus Joyner. Uh we'll put Joyner. I didn't like Joyner's season last year, honestly. I liked it a lot more the year before. Two years ago was really good. Last year wasn't a huge fan. It wasn't bad at all, but I, I'm going to put him under good. 
Uh, that's where I got him. Maybe if, if he played like he did two years ago, I think he maybe would be very good. Uh, Harrison Smith, uh, to me it's no question. Harrison Smith's elite. I think he's the best safety in football. A do-it-all safety. He does every part of the safety position at an elite level. Um, just just super impressive. And, and something that, that really stood out to me is, you know, you see Eddie Jackson going up to Harrison Smith after a game and saying that, uh, telling him that he he molds his he molds his game after him he he looks up to him and he should be the defense MVP you know that that says a lot too and Eddie Jackson's an upcoming star too uh, may have been the best safety of of last season so um, I think that says it all right there uh, Rashad Jones from the Dolphins I like his game maybe not the same as it was a year or two ago he was r- really really good maybe borderline elite I'll put him very good for now. Patrick Chung, I like under good. Unfortunate injury in the Super Bowl there. Uh, Antoine Bethea, tackling machine, not really the same as he used to be. I think average. Uh, Jordan Poyer, I think Poyer is super underrated. You know, people when people talk about Bill's safeties, they know it's a pretty good duo, but it, they mainly go straight to Micah Hyde. I actually think they're pretty darn even. It's hard for me to split them up. Uh, I'll put them under very good. So pretty, pretty darn good duo the Bills have there. Demonte Casey, who was a pretty darn good playmaker last year. He, he's another up-and-comer. I'm going to put him under good. He had a good season last year. Could get better. Derwin James is borderline elite. Uh, I think after this year, I'll be talking about him in the elite section. I was very high on him in the draft as well. And, yeah, he's making his way up there. Is that Carl Joseph? We'll put him under average. Pretty, you know, high-motor guy willing to come up and make a hit. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins, maybe not the same as he was two years ago, but still a still a very good safety. That's what he is. Um, really, there's a lot of young guys and a lot of guys getting hurt on that secondary. Kind of really leads that secondary, so pretty impressive. It, to me, he's a very good safety. If we're talking a year ago, maybe borderline elite. Maybe two years ago, maybe elite. And that is George Aloka. Put him under below average. He's nowhere near the same. And then Eric Weddle. We already ranked Eric Weddle. There was two pictures. Um, so... Two guys that come to mind that aren't on here, John Johnson from the Rams, who I would put, and Justin Simmons of the Broncos, those two safeties who are unfortunately not on, on, on here. That would be tough to rank both of them. I think they're both very similar. I would almost put both of them in the very good section. I like their games a lot. They're right there in that good to very good. Unfortunate they're not on here. I'm trying to think anybody else that's not on here. Marcus May from the Jets probably would be under... You know, he probably averaged from what he's been playing, but I think he could step up to. Did I say that? I meant the Jets. I don't know what I said. Marcus May from the Jets. Uh, I, I put him probably good. I think he steps up this year. Um, who else we got here? Nobody else really comes to mind at the moment. I'm sure I'll think of more people after. That's what the comment section's for. Um, so, yeah, I only got two elite. Oh, yeah, I usually rank guys. Harrison Smith to me is hands down the best safety. I don't think there's really any question. I don't. Maybe somebody else disagrees. I, I don't know. I mean, if Earl Thomas is fully healthy, maybe he's the best. It just spent some years. Um, I, I'm going to put Derwin. Derwin here, Jamal. Yeah, I don't know if Earl Thomas can stay. It's, I'm, no, I don't know if I'm 100% trusting him to stay healthy. And then under the very good, Jesse Bates is my guy. We'll go Devin McCourty. We'll go Malcolm Jenkins. And then both the Bills, Rashad Jones, under good. It's probably going to be Tyron Matthew at the top. We're going to go LaMarcus Joyner. No, you know, I think Malik Hooker can stay healthy this year. And, yeah, I think he, he's more than good. I think if he if he stays healthy, we'll, so we'll see. Something along those lines there. Um, Sean Gibson, Vaccaro, we'll put right ahead of him. Minka. Landon Collins, Anthony Harris was super impressive last year. Let's see if he can do it again. Uh, we're going to go with that. Average. Probably, I like Marcus Weddle, or Marcus Williams, mixing uh, Eric Weddle and Marcus Williams there, apparently. Uh, Marcus Williams at the top. And then we'll go Eric Weddle seconds. And then Eric Reed was pretty solid last year. Oh, that meant to go like that. Shabriel Peppers. No, you know what? We're haha's gonna go right there. Bethea. 
we're gonna go Swearinger here and Carl Joe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it like this. And then gathers an Ioloka. That's where I got him. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that, what your tiers would be. Um, we got a playlist full of these videos. We got plenty of other NFL predictions, rankings for the upcoming season season. Plenty of Super Bowl predictions from different people here at the Goat House. So a lot to check out. If you haven't seen it, please subscribe if you haven't done yet that yet. Much appreciated if you help us out. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.